Hey guys, what's happening? Um, I'm about to demonstrate to you how to go about doing this crayon etching technique that I had mentioned a bunch of times, showed you and talked about that, and it's still pretty much a mystery to you. How do you do this thing? It's cool, it's fun, it's not hard. Um, well, first of all, let's pretend that I have a fully transferred tiki here, and I colored in the whole thing with a heavy layer, heavy layer, uh, layer of waxy crayon in whatever various colors I've chose. So that means that, you know, you're, you're putting down as much crayon as the paper will take when you color in each section. I think everybody gets that, and the ones I saw that you guys showed me were fine. So here we go. First of all, um, you need a black crayon. If you do not have black crayon, you're going to need to choose a, the darkest color you can find, perhaps, I don't know, purple, dark blue that um, you haven't used in your tiki. You can also switch colors, too, since... Um, since it, you can, since if you don't have black is what, what I'm trying to say, you can switch colors. In other words, you can color in one section on top of your, your base color with, uh, say, purple and switch to another section in dark blue and then do the scratching. But uh, let me show you guys how this is done. So um, here's what happens. I'm going to take my black crayon and I'm going to start coloring right on top of this red, violet red color, whatever color crayon that is. And I hope you can see on the video, actually, okay, we're zoomed in pretty good there, um, that it doesn't cover it completely black. It's not going to do that because you can only get so much waxy crayon on any given area of paper. But it does cover it up pretty well. So I'm going to color this. I'm not pressing too, I'm not like trying to press super hard. If I do that, it actually may put down less crayon than you want. But I'm going over it, you know, I'm, I'm going back and forth, switching directions in my stroke here to get as much black on as possible. And when I'm done, I'm going to scratch it off. There are lots of ways to do that. What I have here, first of all, as far as tools go, is a scratch tool that's used for scratch board. You guys know scratch board. Probably, you're probably familiar with the multicolored paper with black on top, and you scratch off the black, and there's all different colors underneath. That's what this is for, among other things. You can use it for anything you want. Of course, you guys don't have one of these, which is totally fine. You don't need one to do this. Other tools that work great, anything that'll take off, that will gently scratch, uh, take off that black crayon is going to work for you. Um, other tools that work are toothpick. Toothpick works well. An unbent paper clip works well. Anything you can find, um, even a, um, a sewing needle might work, although that's a little pointy, very fine and sharp. Um, anything you, you, you have around the house that'll work as your scratch tool is going to be great. Um, in fact, I, I probably could have demonstrated just using a paper clip so you guys could see, but I do have my scratch tool here. So what happened, there's a few ways you can do this. There's, you can scratch in shapes, you can scratch in texture, and I'll demonstrate that, those in a sec. But one thing you can do is after you put the black on, you just scratch it all off. Now this is very gently, it is a light touch, super light. The crayon comes off very easily. If you scratch hard, no matter what tool you're using, you're gonna go right through the black, through the color, and you're gonna be digging into the white paper. Um, hopefully you can see on the video, there's a different look to it than it was when it was just colored red or red violet, whatever that was. And it kind of washes out the color, makes it look lighter sort of. And it's leaving some black on there. If you can see that, it's leaving some of the black crayon on. Why put the black crayon on, you say, if we're just going to scratch it all off? Well, because it has a look to it, and it has a cool look to it. It gives it this aged, antique kind of effect, sort of maybe hand handmade, hand carven. It's a really cool look. So um, with my scratch tool here, I'm just using the side of the tool a little bit, and I'm just scratching off very gently. I'm just kind of pulling the, the tool toward, towards me. Um, so when I'm all done, it looks like this. You're going to get a lot of crayon little pieces, chunks coming off. That's normal. You don't want to overwork it because if you keep going, it's going to start just taking off that red crayon too. So it has a cool look to it. In fact, I really like this. I love crayon etching. So that's one way to do it. Um, you're going, you can scratch off the whole area that you colored in 
cool look. Another way is to make textures and or shapes and designs, which is very cool too. So um, let me try, I'll do some textural stuff here, just some line texture, which is really easy. So I'm gonna color in this section of green. Now listen, guys, this is important. If I colored in this whole thing, if I colored in all of this black and then went to do my scratching, what do you think happens? I don't know where my where my sections are. I can't see the black lines and I can't see the individual sections if I color in the whole thing with black. Um, so I lose where you know where where my shapes are. That's why with a crayon etching we do one shape at a time. So um, I can do this. I can create a texture. I'm scratching it off. Um, and I'm not trying to take it all off. I did take a lot of it off, but it does create a super cool texture. Crayon etching is great for texture. It's kind of made for making textural stuff. Texture is the illusion of touch. It looks like it feels like something. So that green, this green might be showing up a little better on the video. So there's a difference there, right, between the red section the greens, I um, I tried to make a just a simple line texture. It's a really cool look to it. What else can we do? Let's color in a little bit of this blue here. So with this shape, the, again, pretend my whole tiki's colored in different colors. And when I do the black crayon on top, I only want to do one section at a time. Imagine if you colored your whole tiki with black crayon. Where's the tiki? It's gone. You can't see where to scratch anymore. So we do one section at a time. All right, I don't, oh, look, my eraser marks are coming up from those spiral shapes I drew. That's totally fine. That's not a big deal at all. Never notice that when you're all done. So I'm coloring this quickly for the sake of making this video. You know, take your time. Always patience. Make sure you call it, get as much black on there as you can. The more black is on there, the better your crayon etching comes out. Now with this, hmm, what can I do? I could uh, try to make some fat stripes very gently actually I can go all the way down here so we'll pretend that I went all the way down to the bottom and then I'm going to maybe do, come just repeat that repeat the shape of the shape with line if you if you understand what I'm saying so um, I could do something like this, you know, and uh, leaving little black spaces in between my scratched out lines. It's super cool, it looks great. And it makes, again, for a texture. Texture and pattern are very closely related. They're almost the same, they're both based on repetition. I repeat scratches, I get a texture. I repeat shapes, I get a line. I mean, I repeat shapes, I get a pattern. So there's that. So we have a texture, we have some line stuff, we have scratching out the whole area. Um, another way to do it, all real quick, and then I'll turn off my video. Um, I'll throw some orange down here. You know, I encourage you guys, use your imagination, please. Take your time, use your imagination. Um, you can scratch in anything you want. If you only scratch little shapes on an area you colored black, you're going to lose most of the color of that area because there's all that color is underneath the black. That's why I kept my lines close together here because I wanted to show as much blue underneath the black as possible. But another way of doing it, let's try and color this in real quick. We can, you can do shapes. So I'm gonna color this orange section. And I wanna try some shape stuff here. So, you know, triangles are an easy shape to do with any type of scratch tool. So I'm gonna start making um, a triangle pattern. Something like this, simple, easy peasy. And I'm going to fill in the other side. Again, I, I want to take off as much black as possible. I am going to scratch out these shapes solid in a sec. So once I have that, my, um, my design drawn out, I gently scratch it off. I'm scratching off the black. And, you know, you get the idea, I'm sure. 
So I'm revealing a lot of the orange underneath there. I'm not um, leaving too much black. Any section you scratch off, you should have more, scra more black scratched off than left on. Otherwise, you're hiding a lot of the color that you took so much time to put down. That's pretty cool. Um, I could, if I want, you know, I got a space in there. I could try to squeeze in a thin little line um, just to bring out some more orange. You know, I go all the way down with my thin little line. And there it is, guys. Crayon Etching 101. Super fun, super cool. Okay? Thanks. Bye.